Welcome back to Just One Question, and I am really delighted and honored to have Eric Yaberbaum with us. He is the best-selling author of seven, seven books and chairman of New York City-based Erico Communications. Welcome, Eric. How are you on this fine uh, Tuesday morning? I'm happy to be alive. <laughs> Excellent. And how's New York? Just in one word or less. For me, I'm very biased. New York is always phenomenal. Oh, that's great. Um, and to get started right away, to jump right in, um, most Americans, as well as, of course, uh, folks over in the UK, have been fascinated lately watching the the uh, attempts of the of the press over there to find out what's up with Kate Middleton um, and uh, and the royal family in general. Uh, and it excited a lot of communication, a lot of discussion about what's appropriate and what isn't, and and how should celebrities and and uh, people like the royal family handle the amount of information that gets disclosed and the amount that doesn't get disclosed. And then, of course, it turned out very sadly in Kate's case uh, that the information she was holding back was that she had cancer. Uh, and and then the the press had to react to that. So it was a it was a textbook case of what's the right amount of information to reveal when and how do you handle these ticklish matters and where does privacy end and and public the public's right to know or need to know or lurid desire to know kick in. Uh, and so we're hoping you can unpack all of that for us and explain it to it to us how it should be done. So uh, what's your take on, on Kate, but just in general with uh, public figures? And, well, uh, you know, the thing is for, for, for all of us, uh, because of social media, I mean, I've been in uh, uh, television my entire career. I've yeah. been in the news my entire career. Is it anybody else's business about my personal life? Uh, and what do and don't I want to disclose? And what are the personal details of my life? Do I have children? Do mm -hmm. I think I need to talk to my children first, just as an example, my family first, just as an example? The thing is about being a, a public figure, being an A-League celebrity, certainly being in the royal family, is that's kind of what you sign up for. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be some intrusion into your life. So what do and do you not you know, want to reveal, you know, a lot of us are private, you know, we, we would rather keep most of our lives, at least our personal lives, uh, personal, mm -hmm. uh, not out there in the mainstream media or in this day and age, social media all over the place. The Royal family has such a long history of um, uh, incredible information, uh, interest in everything about their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, if you're going to be in the royal family, you can expect that just like any celebrity could be. So what's appropriate and what's not appropriate is it's it's almost irrelevant um, because, I mean, there's no way to define that. What it is realistically is the press and anybody with a cell phone is going to be interested. So the mm -hmm. best thing that you can possibly do if you accept that as fact is get out in front of a story best you can before the story. Don't, don't let the story manage you. You manage the story. In, the, in this particular instance, I think they, they did take or try to get out in front of that story a little bit. And, you know, th that photo, you know, uh, <laughs> once you alter a photo, which is something we all need to be concerned about going forward, let alone artificial intelligence, once you start doing that, you know, of course, if that's exposed, uh, you are going to be getting a lot more questions. Sure. And you know, that little ingredient added into this story, it you know, made it worse than it had to be. The thing about it is, imagine in your own family, just cancer. When you have mm -hmm. cancer, it's a private affair between you and your loved ones, not for everybody in the world. She doesn't have that luxury. Um, and, you know, getting out ahead of the story before the story manages you and tells itself is always a good idea. Mm -hmm. And what about advice for those of us who are a little less thrilling uh, to the rest of the world than the royal family? Um, uh, you mentioned social media. And, of course, the possibility is to put endless amounts of personal information out there. How do you even begin to think about that? Is there any way to decide what's 
what's reasonable and what's not, or what's too much information and what's not. We all have a sense at some point, whether it's somebody who's private or somebody who's a public figure, there gets to a point where it's TMI. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and so TMI, where is that line drawn? I guess is what what I'm trying to the, ask. The things about TMI is is that it, you know that's a that's up to each and every individual. You know, I consider myself I don't know a sea leaguer, and uh, you know, I've written a lot of books. I've been on television for a long time. Uh, how much? What do I want? What, what do I want out there? And what I want out there, you know, my personal life is personal for me. You're never going to see much of that. You know, in, in the good old days when Facebook started, I thought it was something for me and my family. So if you want to go back on my Facebook page, five, five years, four mm -hmm. years, you'll see stuff about my family that was intended for me and my family, not absolutely everybody. But, you know, my, I, I, personally, I try to keep my personal life personal. Um, my professional life is very, I mean, you Google me, you are going to find out plenty about my career. That's on purpose. You'll find out nothing about, you know, my personal life, mm -hmm. uh, nothing about, you know, who I was out with last night. That's managed by me. It's done on purpose. And for everybody out there who is not famous um, or just likes social media, you need to decide, but you know I think that uh, the, uh, their privacy is underrated, and everybody ought to be very, very careful about what they put on social media. Hmm. I like that. So it's a matter of thinking clearly about what for you needs to be private and what can be public. Right? Ah, and then... Privacy is underrated. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the that's the mic drop one liner. So uh, privacy is is underrated. Eric Yaberbaum, thank you so much for being on Just One Question. I appreciate you, and I won't ask you any questions about your uh, your private life. I get the message. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks so much for having me.